Chapter 491, Young Xiao Sect Disciples, 1. There's no hurry, you're next, Yi Qingtong said. Ning Liu shook his head, Junior Sister Yi, don't speak too confidently. You want to kill me but have missed the best opportunity to do so. As Ning Liu finished his sentence, two figures descended from the sky. The incomers were a male and female who were both donned in long white robes with embroidery of two unusual clouds on the chest area. Young Xiao sect disciples, Zhu Cheng was astonished. The pair of people before him were both Young Xiao sect sinner sect disciples who possessed unfathomable martial skills. Humphrey, you're really useless, Ning Liu, as young Xiao sect's inner sect disciple, you're cornered to such a situation by Xuanling sect disciples. The male in the lead said coldly and cast Ning Liu a look from the corner of his eye. Ha ha. Senior brother Zuo is right. I am all to blame for being useless and having to trouble you and senior sister Yue to help me. Ning Liu chuckled. The girl who was addressed as Senior Sister Yui looked at Ning Liu indifferently without saying anything. Whatever. Since we are here, let's kill all these Xuanling sect disciples, and we will bring you back to the sect afterward. Senior Brother Zuo looked across Yi Qingtong and the rest. Then, the change of events had already exceeded Yi Qingtong's predictions. The primordial chi in her body was already insufficient and it was almost completely depleted after the battle with Elder Lin earlier on. Elder Lin just died, yet then came two young Xiao sect's inner sect disciples. Leave first. Yi Qingtong looked at Zhu Cheng, Qin Huan, and the rest. No. Qin Huan refused at once. Junior sister Yi, how can we abandon you and leave? Zhu Cheng echoed. You all leave first. I have ways to deal with this. If you all are here, it is a burden to me instead. Yi Qingtong said seriously, this. After hearing Yi Qingtong, the Xuanling sect disciples were at a loss instantly. They initially wanted to stick together through life and death with Yi Qingtong, but she said that they would be a burden to her. Forget it. Since junior sister Yi said this, she must have a way of getting out of this predicament. We will leave first and search for reinforcements. Zhu Cheng said, junior sister Yi, you must be careful. Qin Huan reminded, under Yi Qingtong's protection, the few people evacuated swiftly. Want to leave right before our eyes? Senior sister Yu sneered. She was about to chase after them but was deliberately held back by Ning Liu. Ning Liu, what are you doing? Senior sister Yu shouted furiously. Senior sister, they're merely little clowns only. We do not need to waste any time here. The more pressing matter at hand is to return as soon as possible and notify the sect of this. Ning Liuo explained. After pondering for a while, Senior Sister Yue finally nodded and said, All right. Since that's the case, I'll kill this dog that's standing in our way first. The dog standing in our way which Senior Sister Yue said naturally referred to Yi Kington. Senior Sister Yue. The primordial chi in her body is already depleted. There's no need to bother about this disabled person. The better option is to leave now, Ning Liuo said with a smile. After hearing Ning Liuo, senior sister Yui's cold eyes landed on Ning Liuo as she said coldly, Ning Liuo, what are you planning exactly? You clearly know that this is the person whom senior sister Yui wants dead, but from what you said, you seem to wish to let her off. Ha ha. Junior brother Ning Liuo, actually. You already knew from the start that you and I were here. Could it be that the battle with Yi Kington was intentionally put up as a show for us? Senior brother Zuo asked meaningfully. That's why I found it strange. Your paragon skill of the frost is already at the second level, but I saw that you did not use all your force. Ning Liuo, what are you planning exactly? Senior sister Yu stared at Ning Liuo. Chapter 492, Young Xiao Sect Disciple. Too. Ha. Ning Liuo showed an evil smile and said, Senior brother Zuo, Senior sister Yue, you worry too much. Senior sister Yi you asked me to finish Yi Kington, but you wanted to step in. It should not work this way. Furthermore, Yi Kington caused me great injuries. I would definitely not let her go so easily. I will be the one to end her life. After hearing Ning Liuo's explanation, Senior Sister Yui's eyes were full of suspicion. Senior Brother Zuo gave an ambiguous smile. Junior Brother Ning Liuo, based on your second level of paragon skill, 
You did not use your full strength just now, it was obvious to me. Is it that you are obsessed with E. Kington's appearance and fell in love with her? I shall warn you first. Junior Sister Yi Yu wants her dead. You should keep your little thoughts in case you provoke Junior Sister Yi Yu. No one will be able to save you then. Senior Brothers are uh oh. Don't bother to talk to him. Ning Luo's beloved one had passed away three years ago. He will never be interested in another person. I don't care what he was thinking, but now, we should chop off the woman's head and bring it back to Yi Yu. Then, it would be mission complete, senior sister Yu said. Okay. Senior brother Zuo nodded. The two people's aura of martial chi level 3 exploded in the surroundings. Yi Kington was engulfed by the wind and the waves created instantly. Yi Kington could only defend herself using her primordial chi. These two people's abilities are even higher than Ning Luo. Even if my primordial chi is sufficient, I may only be able to come to a draw with one of them. Yi Kington frowned. Yi Kington rolled her eyes and looked towards her space ring. A talisman appeared in her hand at the next second. The talismans were the treasures that the young Xiao sect master gave to Yu Tanqing. They sealed powerful array formations and divine skills. With the talisman in her hand, Yi Kington was confident that even if she could not fight off the two people, she could still run away. Such a pity. I wish I can keep all these precious talismans. One will be gone now. Yi Kington stared at the talisman and felt heartbroken. When Yi Kington was about to use the talisman, Ning Luo suddenly said, Senior brothers are uh oh, senior sister Yue, there's a Xuanling sect elder approaching. I think it's best to handle him first. Laughter filled his eyes. The two people then looked up and saw an elder walked over slowly. There was an elder about 80 years old taking slow steps over. He said, Young people should care for each other and be peaceful. Don't always try to fight and kill each other. Venerable Wu. Yi Kington sized up the elder and realized that he was the venerable Wu from the Sword Spirit Workshop. As an elder who always stayed at the Sword Spirit Workshop for weapon refining, why would he come here? Yi Kington felt a headache. Even she herself also decided to escape now there was one more person to take care of. Another one comes here for death. Senior Sister Yu snorted. Old man, look at your age. You're committing suicide here. Senior brothers uh oh laughed at the elder. Venerable Wu walked beside Yi Kington and smiled. Young people nowadays always need old men to take care of. Yi Kington stared at him blankly. I did not ask you to look after me okay. It is much easier for me to escape along, old man. I don't want to have your blood on my hands since you are so old. If you understand the situation, leave now. The smile on senior brother uh oh's face still remained. Where are your manners? Son, did your parents did not teach you basic manners? Venerable Wu sighed. Chapter 493, Young Xiao Sect Disciple, 3. Old Bastard, what did you say? Senior Sister Yui's eyes suddenly became fierce and malicious. Nothing. Do me a favor, okay? Don't find troubles for Xuanling Sect Disciples. Just leave. The elder waved his hand. A favor? Look at how old you are now. Besides an old body, what else do you have? Senior brothers uh oh laughed. Don't bother talking to him anymore. Kill him together. Senior sister Yue flew over, and her martial chi level 3 aura was getting more intense. Yi Kington immediately got up and stood in front of Venerable Wu to protect him. The martial breath on Venerable Wu was very weak. He was just one of the members at the Sword Spirit Workshop. How could he defend the attack from a young Xiao sect disciple? Young people, how dare you to bully an old man? I'm already half step into the grave now. Venerable Wu made a detour to cross Yi Kington and walked towards Senior Sister Yue. Old bastard, this will be your death. Senior Sister Yue shouted angrily. Her palm slapped downwards and a huge cyan palm shadow came from the void, smashing downwards. The huge cyan palm contained unimaginable power, and it seemed that it could suppress the earth. The ground under the Venerable Wu's feet was crushed into pieces by the power. However, the Venerable Wu stood calmly and lifted his right arm slightly. The pressing martial breath seemed to evolve into an ancient demonic beast. Boom! After a loud explosion, the huge cyan palm was crushed and disappeared. What? Senior Sister Yu I looked at the Venerable Wu in shock. Young people, you are too impulsive. Do you not know how to respect old people? Such a disappointment. 
the venerable Wu shook his head. He lifted his arm again, and a strong attractive force pulled senior sister Yue forward. The venerable Wu clutched her neck and sighed. Such a pretty face. Why are you willing to be a thief, old bastard? How dare you humiliate my junior sister? Senior brothers uh oh shouted and took out a yellow grayed sword, piercing towards the venerable Wu. The force was immense. It was like a wild beast that could destroy everything. Two young people bullying an old man together. Do you not know what humiliation is? The venerable Wu extended his fingers. Clank. The yellow grayed sword was held by venerable Wu's two fingers. How is this possible? Senior brother was totally shocked. No matter how much strength he used, he could not withdraw his weapon. The venerable Wu did not leave any reaction time for senior brothers uh oh. His finger pointed at his chest area. Boom. Senior brothers uh oh's body was like a piece of paper in the gust of wind, flying outward. You senior brothers uh oh felt his inner breath, and blood was flowing everywhere inside his body. His face was red, and blood ran over from his mouth. Enchantment eyes. Senior sister Yu murmured softly and her eyes suddenly turned into cyan in color. It seemed that one's soul could be enchanted by the eyes, and his mind could be controlled. Enchantment skill. The venerable Wu sneered. Young girl, I'm old enough to be your grandfather. How dare you use the enchantment skill on me? The venerable Wu then threw senior sister Yui outward. Senior brothers uh oh. The old bastard's mind power was too strong. My enchantment skill could not work on him. Senior sister Yue said and looked at senior brothers uh oh, senior sister Yue, senior brothers uh oh, the old man is not an ordinary person. We should escape from this place first. If the Xuanling sect elders reached the place, it will be harder for us to leave. Ning Luo tried to persuade the two of them. Senior brothers uh oh contemplated for a while and eventually nodded. Ning Luo is right, we should leave now. Chapter 494, Young Xiao sect disciples. 4. The three of them jumped into the clouds and disappeared. 3. Children, you just left like that? Such a disappointment. It's so rare for me to be involved in a fight. What a waste of my energy. The Venerable Wu sighed. Yi Qingting looked at the Venerable Wu in astonishment. The Venerable Wu's cultivation level was so high that he could easily handle the combined attack from the two inner sect disciples of the Young Xiao sect. Before Yi Qingting could ask anything, a few shadows appeared. The inner sect elders including Elder Mo had arrived. Elder Kin and the Fist Faction Elder arrived soon after them. Among these people, there was a middle-aged man in a black robe. His martial aura was too very intense. Xuanling sect master, Li Yunfeng. Yi Qingtong murmured thoughtfully as she stared at the man. Yi Qingtong saw the Xuanling sect master in her previous life as well. That was why she could recognize him instantly. Greetings, elders and sect master. Yi Qingtong greeted them with hands folded. Elder Mo nodded slightly. The sect master and Elder Mo walked towards the Venerable Wu. They folded their hands and said respectfully, Grand Elder. The Venerable Wu waved his hand and replied calmly, Ning Liu was saved by two of the young Xiao sect disciples. Return to the sect now and disperse all the disciples. The sect elders immediately disappeared without a single word after the Venerable Wu finished his words. Grand Elder Yi Qingtong stared at the Venerable Wu in front of her. Her eyes were filled with astonishment. The kind elder that she knew for quite a while at the Sword Spirit Workshop was the Grand Elder of the Xuanling sect. Kingdom, are you injured? The Venerable Wu walked forward and sized her up. Grand Elder. After knowing the Venerable Wu's true identity, Yi Kingdom immediately greeted him with her hands folded. Ha ha, young girl, I'm not used to it when you are so serious. Just addressing me as the Venerable Wu will do. The Venerable Wu smiled and waved his hand. Yes, Grand Elder Yi Qingtong nodded. Isn't it Venerable Wu? The Venerable Wu smiled. Venerable Wu Yi Qingtong had to change her words. Qingtong, Xuanling sect has reached the point of death or survival. You should pack up soon and leave. The Venerable Wu said after a period long silence. Yi Qingtong knew what he meant when he finished his sentence. The Grand Elder knew that the young Xiao sect would not let the Xuanling sect go this time. In order to save the disciples, he intended to disperse all of them. We shall return to the sect first. A kind smile was still seen on the Venerable Wu's face. Soon, 
The two of them flew into the clouds and rushed back to the Xuanling sect. Yi Qingtong and the Grand Elder reached the Xuanling sect after half a day. A few thousand disciples were gathered at the inner sect square. Even the outer sect disciples were present. Junior Sister Yi, you're finally back. Zhu Cheng and Qin Huan surrounded Yi Qingtong when she appeared. Yes, there's nothing to worry about, Yi Qingtong said. Qingtong. It's been a long time since we last met. Yan Xiu and Lin Long also appeared. Usually, it's rare to see the inner sect elders. Today, all of them finished their seclusion and even asked the outer sect disciples to gather at the inner sect square. I'm not sure what's going on Yan Xiu said. Lin Long frowned as there was an ominous feeling arising in her heart. Chapter 495 Live or die together. Yi Kington held her fist but did not say anything. She still could not change the things that were about to happen. Things that happened in her previous life could not be prevented in this life. The Xuanling sect would soon disappear from history. She was unwilling to accept the truth. In her previous life, Elder Mo, Elder Kin, the Grand Elder, and most of the sect disciples were murdered within the sect. Yi Kington held her fist tightly. It was not enough. Still not enough. She was not powerful enough to change anything. If she was powerful enough, she could end the entire Yang Xiao sect instantly. Then, she would rewrite history. Only the weak would follow destiny. After a long while, Yi Kington's eyes were getting firmer. She would never bow in front of destiny and surrender to it. Even if the sky were to be reversed and time flowed backward she would fight against it. Elder Huang of the outer sect suddenly announced. Tonight, we are not separated by the inner and outer sect. We shall celebrate the gathering. Many disciples cheered after hearing that. At midnight, the inner square was ablaze with lights. A few thousand disciples gathered in small groups. Some were drinking delightfully. Some were waving their swords. Many disciples were exchanging their skills and experiences. Some of the outer sect disciples gained the courage to ask for advice from inner sect disciples after a few rounds of drinks. The inner sect disciples were also willing to share their experiences and pointed out the inadequacies they had. Yi Qingtong recalled the days she spent at the falling sky valley as she saw the harmony among the Xuanling sect disciples. Though there were conflicts, the bond between the disciples was always present. Things that are about to happen will happen eventually. This is the last moment before the storm comes. Yi Kington closed her eyes and enjoyed the peace. The next morning at the inner sect square, the few inner sect elders including Elder Mo and the sect master Li Yanfing showed up. Yesterday, all the disciples gathered at the inner sect. Many inner sect disciples suspected that there were ominous things that were about to happen. All disciples, sect master Li Yanfing said as he scanned through the crowd. The sect has decided to disperse the inner and the outer sect. All disciples were shocked as they could not believe what they just heard. Both the inner and outer sect disciples thought that they heard it wrong. The Xuanling sect was going to disperse the inner and the outer sect. Loud discussions arose at the square. Sect master, may I know why is it so? Why does the Xuanling sect want to disperse the inner and outer sect? Some of the senior inner sect disciples asked. Li Yunfeng was silent for a while and then sighed. There is an unavoidable calamity that is going to happen to the Xuanling sect. It may mark the end of our sect. To prevent unnecessary sacrifices, we need to disperse you. What? Xuanling sect's calamity? Many inner sect disciples were stunned. The few inner sect elders also did not hold back and explained the truth. Since they had decided to disperse the inner and outer sect disciples, they had to explain everything clearly. The whole square was silent. After a long time, one of the inner sect disciples shouted, I joined the Xuanling sect when I was 12. It has been five years now. Xuanling sect is my home, and all the disciples here are my family. Now that my home is in danger, how can I just run away for my own safety? Senior brother Tao Ran is right. We are the Xuanling sect disciples, and Xuanling sect is our home. We will never leave the sect behind when our sect is going to face attacks from the enemies. If we run away, we will never find a place to stand in this world. I will either live or die with the sect. I will not step back no matter who our enemy is, Jim Yu and stepped forward and said. I will either live or die with the sect. I will not be afraid of any enemies ahead. Zhu Cheng stepped forward. I will either live or die with the sect. I will never run away for my own safety when the enemies come. 
Feng Mali stepped forward, I am just an ordinary man, but I will never run away, I will fight till the last second for the sect. More disciples stepped forward and pledged their loyalty. We live as the Xuanling sect disciples. We die as the Xuanling sect ghosts. As the Xuanling sect disciples, we welcome our friends with sincerity, and we kill our enemies with our blood. Chapter 496, The Blood Moon, 1. A few thousand inner sect disciples were touched by the scene. Only a few disciples chose to leave. Sect Master Li Yunfeng wanted to disperse these disciples to ensure their safety. However, no matter how he chased them away, they chose to remain in the sect. Eventually, he had to compromise. The loyalty that the outer sect disciples had towards the sect was much weaker. More than half of the outer sect disciples fled from the Xuanling sect without any hesitation, including Lu Xuin and Su Wan. To everyone who remains, it's my Xuanling sect's honor to have you guys here. Elder Mo stepped forward and scanned through the crowd. It's our honor to join the Xuanling sect in our life. We are willing to use our blood to protect our sect. We'll either live or die with the sect. Yi Kington was also touched by the thousands of disciples who remained. In her previous life, most of these disciples were killed during the fight against Yang Xiao sect. They could not protect the sect, and neither could the sect protect them. Junior Sister Yi. Yan Xiu and Lin Long walked towards Yi Kington. You did not leave. Yi Kington was surprised. Yan Xiu shook his head and said, Since we joined the sect, we are the sect disciples. If we leave the sect when it's in danger we will regret for the rest of our lives. All sorts of feelings filled up her mind as she stared at Yan Xiu. She would try all her best to protect the sect. Yi Kington took a glimpse and noticed that the Blood Moon Elder was following a group of outer sect disciples. Trying to leave the sect secretly, Yi Kington sneered and held the Blood Moon Elder's collar. He was about to rage but forced a smile after noticing it was Yi Kington. Where are you going? Yi Kington smiled and asked, I'm not a Xuanling sect disciple, and Xuanling sect is about to face its calamity soon. I will definitely not fight for the sect. Why you pull me back? If you leave now, I will reveal your true identity. Yi Kington smiled. You, the Blood Moon Elder was stunned and scanned the surroundings carefully. He was relieved after knowing there was no one around. Yi Kington, if you want to die, then go ahead. Don't pull me along. The Xuanling sect knew the secrets of the Yang Xiao sect, and they will soon kill everyone in the Xuanling sect. Based on our abilities, it's suicide if we stay. How about we leave first? When you are stronger, We'll find the Yang Xiao sect for revenge. The Blood Moon Elder was trying to convince Yi Kington, you can only follow me. Yi Kington did not buy his words at all. I have to follow you even if you are committing suicide. The Blood Moon Elder frowned. Yes. Yi Kington nodded. Yi Kington you. That's so unreasonable. Do you still want the bonded soul pill? Yi Kington smiled. Bonded soul pill. You have it now? The Blood Moon Elder's eyes sparkled. He was longing for the bonded soul pill all the time. Yi Kington held her chin and said, Not yet, but I have collected a few ingredients. If you listen to me, you will have the bonded soul pill. Not yet. The Blood Moon Elder gritted his teeth. He really wanted to tear her apart now. If he listened to her and stayed in the Xuanling sect, why would he need the bonded soul pill if he could not even guarantee his own life? Chapter 497 the Blood Moon, 2. Yi Kington, I will not die along with you in the Xuanling sect. Don't even think about it the Blood Moon Elder sneered as he sized her up. However, he was totally shocked as he looked at her. His face was filled with astonishment. You the Blood Moon Elder pointed at her, and his body shivered slightly. Yi Kington planned to use some effort to convince him. But she was stunned when she saw his reaction. This is impossible. The Blood Moon Elder shook his head. He opened his eyes wide as he stared at her in disbelief. He saw clearly that there was a Blood Moon sparkling at her glibola just now. You have there. Blood Moon Aura. Blood Moon Aura. Me? Yi Kington frowned and pointed to herself. That's right. The Blood Moon Elder was very sure. The Blood Moon Aura that she had and the Blood Moon at her global represented a very high position in the registration system of the Blood Moon sect. Pow! Before the Blood Moon Elder could say anything else, Yi Kington slapped his forehead and said, Are you joking with me? I'm joking with you? 
The Blood Moon Elder was speechless, as the Blood Moon Sect Elder, how could he sense wrongly when he was so sensitive towards the Blood Moon Aura? Follow me. The Blood Moon Elder turned and walked towards the back of the mountain. Yi King Tung did not know what he was playing but still decided to follow him. They reached a river at the back of the mountain soon. A streak of Blood Moon Aura flowed out of the Blood Moon Elder's finger and swiped through Yi King Tung's globular. A Blood Moon appeared at the globular immediately. You check for yourself. The Blood Moon Elder said, Yi King Tung lowered her head and looked into the river, this, she was shocked instantly and could not believe what she saw, there was really a Blood Moon at her globular, Yi King Tung, how did you get the Blood Moon aura, and where did this Blood Moon come from? The Blood Moon Elder asked hurriedly, the Blood Moon Elder was confused, and Yi King Tung was totally bewildered, the Blood Moon slowly disappeared, she was stained with the Blood Moon aura out of nowhere and even had a Blood Moon, the Blood Moon aura on you is different from the normal members, even the Blood Moon is different from normal elders, even the Blood Moon sect elders may not notice that if they do not pay attention to, only the Blood Moon aura can reveal the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon Elder murmured to himself, based on the things written in the book of sect history, such situations would never happen unless it was the Blood Moon Lord from thousands of years ago who gave the Blood Moon using special methods. Such a Blood Moon could only be given by the Blood Moon Lord. Even the Blood Moon Sect Master did not have the qualifications to do so. People who were given the power of the Blood Moon by the Blood Moon Lord thousands of years ago were called the Blood Moon Guardians. Their positions were above the Elders and just below the Sect Masters. The Blood Moon Elder would never believe that Ye Kington was one of the Blood Moon Guardians. None of the sect masters had revived now, and the Lord had also disappeared for thousands of years, so the Blood Moon Elder suspected that the Blood Moon Aura and the Blood Moon that Ye Kington had were forged by a special potion. Such a situation was seen before, thousands of years ago. A few hundred of super sects combined their power to terminate the Blood Moon sect. Before that, these super sects had invented a certain potion that could forge the Blood Moon Aura. Chapter 498, The Blood Moon, 3. He remembered that many super sect disciples disguised themselves as the Blood Moon members and fooled the Blood Moon sect using the special potion. However, those potions could only help them to disguise as normal members. He had never seen a potion that could help Yi King Tung disguise as a Blood Moon Guardian. Someone had invented the potion that could disguise one as a Blood Moon Guardian? The Blood Moon Elder was confused. What's going on? Yi King Tung slapped his head. Why did you hit me? It's not even my business. The Blood Moon Elder took a few steps back. Was Yi King Tung obsessed with hitting him? As a Blood Moon Sect Elder, he was hit by a girl. Yi King Tung did not bother about the Blood Moon Elder and immersed herself in thought. Suddenly, she remembered the brother she had, the sworn brother that she had seemed to be a great fan of the Blood Moon sect and even called himself the Blood Moon Lord. Yi King Tung's face suddenly changed, and she held the Blood Moon Elder up. I will fight back if you hit me one more time. The Blood Moon Elder tucked his neck instinctively. Is the Blood Moon Lord still alive? Yi King Tung said. The Blood Moon Elder shook his head. Since the fight between the Lord and the Ultimate Elder happened thousands of years ago, he has not been seen. No one knows whether he is alive or dead. Yi King Tung let go of the Blood Moon Elder. She shook her head and laughed at herself. How could the brother she had be the Blood Moon Lord in the legend? Yi King Tung. Did you have any contact with anyone? The Blood Moon Aura and the Blood Moon you have are the same as the Blood Moon Guardians. From what I know, there was a potion that could forge the Blood Moon Aura a few thousands of years ago, the Blood Moon Elder said. After hearing what he said, Yi Kington told him the things between her and her brother. What did you say? Who dared to disguise as the Blood Moon Lord? The Blood Moon Elder shouted in anger. The presence of the Blood Moon Lord was like the faith totem of the Blood Moon sect. Who dared to disguise as him? The brother I have is a bit ignorant. If I meet him next time, I will ask him to apologize to you. Yi King Tung felt slightly embarrassed. It was really inappropriate to disguise as someone who was the faith totem of the Blood Moon sect. She said earlier that he had to disguise as the Blood Moon Lord out of so many other choices. Did he think that his life was too long for him to live? Humphrey, if he dares to show up, I will chop off his head. The Blood Moon Elder sneered. Okay, okay, you are the most powerful, and you are the best. 
Yi Kington tapped his left shoulder as a sign of comfort. The Blood Moon Elder took half a step back in discontentment. Did the girl just treat him like a child? Yi Kington was sure that the brother she had must have possessed the potion that could forge the Blood Moon aura and the Blood Moon. He definitely applied the potion on her when she was not aware. He was the crazy fan of the Blood Moon sect and he wanted to drag her down as well, let him live in his dream, Yi Kington was stunned for a second and then looked at her reflection in the water, she concentrated her primordial chi at her globulin area, and the blood moon resurfaced again, it faded as she released her primordial chi, a thought emerged in her head, she looked at the blood moon elder and said, just now, you said that the forged blood moon aura and the blood moon belonged to the guardians level, chapter 499, the blood moon, four, around there. The blood moon elder replied unpleasantly, after getting the confirmation, Yi Kington rolled her eyes, and her lips tilted. She had thought of a bold plan. Where is the headquarter of the blood moon sect? Yi Kington chuckled and came near to the blood moon elder. Why did you ask? The blood moon elder frowned as he could sense her intentions. I have a plan. Yi Kington explained her thought softly by his ear. The Blood Moon Elder's pupils contracted upon hearing her plan. He could not believe what he just heard. How is my plan? Yi Kington smiled. You, Yi Kington, you're daydreaming. How dare you disguise as the Blood Moon Guardian and deceive the members to join the fight against Yang Xiao sect? What? You don't want the bonded soul pill anymore? Yi Kington's face darkened, this, this is not the problem about the bonded soul pill, it is too risky, the position of the blood moon guardian is just below the sect master, how can you just easily disguise as a guardian the blood moon elder said, ha, ah, you are such a coward, Yi Kington shook her head and laughed coldly, Yi Kington, who did you call a coward, the blood moon elder shouted in anger, what? Did I say anything wrong? Was Yang Xiao sect not part of the sects that terminated the Blood Moon sect back then? Even one of your Blood Moon sect elders also surrendered to the Yang Xiao sect. You don't even feel humiliated? Yi Kington smiled. You the Blood Moon elder's face was gloomy as if Yi Kington mentioned his weak spot. If you're angry, release your anger on the Yang Xiao sect. What's the point of arguing with me here? Are all the people of the Blood Moon sect cowards? No wonder you failed thousands of years ago. Yi Kington sighed, and her face was filled with disappointment. Nonsense. Who dares to call himself the king when the Blood Moon Lord was present? The Blood Moon Elder said and waved his sleeves. Ha, ah, true heroes do not mention their past. Furthermore, What's the point of telling me who the king is? Tell Yang Xiao sect then. Yi Kington sneered. Yi Kington's words did make the Blood Moon Elder feel slightly angry. When the Blood Moon sect was in control of the world, everyone had to pay respects to them back then. What was Yang Xiao sect even? Since you're not willing to cooperate with me, then you can stay at the Xuanling sect and wait for the Yang Xiao sect to kill you. Yi Kington said, Yi Kington seemed to be serious with her words, if the Blood Moon Elder did not agree with her, he might really be involved in the fight and die miserably, Yi Kington, I can only bring you to the sect division, the Blood Moon Elder could not help but compromise eventually, at the Blood Moon sect speak, there were 108 branches and 36 divisions, the peak influence and power disappeared along with the fall of the Blood Moon sect, now, the Blood Moon Elder could only bring Yi Kington to one of the divisions. So, you agreed? Yi Kington smiled. I don't want to wait for my death here. It's not bad if you can teach the young Xiao sect a lesson. Then, the bonded soul pill the Blood Moon Elder said, relax, if you cooperate, I will refine the bonded soul pill soon. Yi Kington gave her promise. Yi Kington left the Xuanling sect secretly with the Blood Moon Elder after a short while. The nearest Blood Moon sect division was at a remote place in the north. Before heading to the Blood Moon sect division, Yi Kington brought the Blood Moon Elder to Yang Xiao sect's territory. Chapter 500, Stirring Things Up, 1. Yi Kington, did you come to Yang Xiao sect's territory to court death? In the Imperial City, the Blood Moon sect elder had a strange expression as he was unable to understand Yi Kington's thoughts. I have a sense of propriety, Yi Kington said. This imperial city was only a distance away from Yang Xiao sect. According to the memories of her previous life, 
There was a mountain outside this city which belonged to Yang Xiao sect, where many of its outer sect disciples cultivated at. As they talked, two young males walked into the tavern with great strides. Be careful. Don't get caught. It's Yang Xiao sect disciples the Blood Moon Elder warned softly. Although Yi King Tung and he were in disguise, they still had to be cautious. If they were discovered to be Xuanling sect disciples, the consequences would be dire. At that instant, Yi King Tung suddenly stood up and walked to the table where the two males were sitting at. Are the two of you young Xiao sect disciples? Very quickly, Yi King Tung was beside the table, and she asked with a smile. You can't even recognize us, young Xiao sect disciples? One of them said coldly. It's correct then. Yi King Tung nodded. What do you mean? The young Xiao sect disciple asked instinctively. Swoosh. Then, the smile on Yi King Tung's face disappeared and she attacked the two young Xiao sect disciples without giving them any chance to react. Boom, boom. Along with the loud sounds, the two young Xiao sect disciples were sent flying from Yi Kington's punch. Everyone in the tavern stared in disbelief with their jaws hanging wide open at that instant. There was actually someone in the imperial city who dared to attack young Xiao sect disciples. After landing on the ground, the two young Xiao sect disciples spat blood. Both of them were young Xiao sect outer sect disciples, and their martial skills were merely around the second heaven of martial chi level 2, similar to Fu Lingxian. How were they Yi King Tung's opponents? You, you dare to provoke young Xiao sect. One of them looked at Yi King Tung, appalled. Ha Yi King Tung's lips tugged up slightly. What is young Xiao sect even? I will spare you two lowly people today. Remember, I am a Xuanling sect disciple, and my name is Yi Kington. Afterward, Yi Kington waved and left with the Blood Moon sect elder, ignoring everyone's gazes. Yi Kington, you are crazy. The Blood Moon sect elder shouted outside the tavern. They initially still had time to hide from those young Xiao sect disciples, but Yi Kington actually dashed up to beat those two young Xiao sect disciples into a pulp with everyone watching her. Yi Kington did not bother with the Blood Moon sect elder as her bright eyes looked far away. Three young Xiao sect outer sect disciples were walking side by side, who seemed to be returning from the mountain. Yi Kington, you can't be the Blood Moon sect elder was shocked when he saw the unusual glint in Yi Kington's eyes. Yet, when he just spoke, Yi King Tung flashed across and arrived near the three young Xiao sect disciples. Are the three of you young Xiao sect disciples? Yi King Tung smiled. Are you blind? Do you still have to ask this kind of thing? One of them said indifferently. That's right then. Yi King Tung nodded. Before the three people could react, Yi King Tung attacked instantly. These three people were young Xiao sect outer sect disciples whose skills were far from Yi King Tung's. Moreover, they did not have any precaution at all, allowing Yi Kington to succeed easily. In a jiffy, three bodies were flung far away like kites with broken strings. Who? Who are you? How dare you injure? Young Xiao sect disciples, 